All right, guys. I am going to teach you today how to use Plex Media Server. Um, I'm going to teach you a couple of the basics, and then I'm going to teach you some of the harder things as we go along. The first thing we're going to start off is going to this website, which I will also put in the Discord. And then, depending if you have a Windows computer or if you have a server, which this will be on a different, I'll teach this sometime later, but. You, you can get it on Linux, Mac, and Windows. Nobody uses free BD, BSD, let's be honest. So the Plex Pass is $5 a month, or you can buy it lifetime for 160 bucks. We can go to that page. So I already have the Plex subscription. This is one of my many accounts, so... Um, Lifetime is $127, which is an amazing deal because you never need a guy to get this again. Um, yearly plan, $42, amazing. I pay the $5 a month because I know they get more money. I have money, so I like to support them. Um, but if you ever hear that Plex might be going under, I would highly suggest buying the Lifetime because that means you'll be able to have a Lifetime download, which means it won't affect you in the long end. So you won't have any problems with anything with if Plex goes down, you can't use your server anymore. It's not like that. You are the server, you use your computer as a server. So you're gonna get the Windows copy, choose distribution, and um, basically every computer has 64-bit. It will show you here, it'll say your OS on yours. So if you have a 32-bit computer, it'll show your OS here. And then we're going to Wait for this to go. They have really slow servers, so yeah. Plex has slow servers. If you don't have a slow server, you're in the get go. So you want to wait for this to download, obviously. And right when this downloads, you're going to double click it. Sorry, it kicked me out of the screen. You'll click yes, log in, whatever your password is, it'll show you. And then you start here. You can read this if you want. Click next, click next, click next, click next. It doesn't really matter. Wait for this to, depending on your computer, it will go, like you guys, is most likely will go slower since this is a top line setup. So, and then it's going to say launch Plex Media Server. You'll basically never, ever have to go on here. I don't think you'll... Alright, so I had to reopen it because I, for security reasons, I had to pause and then restart. It'll tell you to log in. I'd recommend signing up through Google just because it's way easier than that. So, um, when you start off here, it's going to ask you to sign up and do all this crazy stuff. But when we you're logged in, it's going to be very easy. It's going to show you this right after you sign up. It's going to teach you how. It's going to tell you what. And you can click got it. You can make a name. So I'm just going to do NAS mini. Or NAS, NAS test. Since I have a NAS which is called network attached storage. So and then you want to have this selected. Because this allows you to stream this from anywhere. You can basically watch it like Netflix, Disney Plus. Anywhere in the world. So you're going to click next. You can have these. I don't need these libraries. I only need movies next and then it's going to tell you to browse your media folder this is literally your computer this is showing your computer because once you downloaded the application you can see it so you're going to go where your movies are this is just a couple of my movies that i have on a usb stick so you can see right here my drive is called games and it's drive d and then it goes to ems spare server and then movies so you're going to want to do that same thing, depending on your thing. So I'm going to go to D, EMS Spare Server, Movies. Now it's detected all of these, and I click Add. And then once that is done, you can add more if you would like, but I don't have more on this computer, since I already have it all on my server. And then after that, I'm going to add another one for TV shows. You can also click Other Videos, 
and you could do that too and photos you could you can make different libraries too like you can add as many libraries you as you want so i'm going to go to d and my spare server oops and then shows and then add library next so plex apps you can get them on literally any device you can get them on basically any smart tv if your smart tv can't get this then you're probably not watching this um it's very rare for Plex not to be on anything. You can get it on Android, Apple. There's also Plex Amp, which is basically like Spotify when you have your songs downloaded. I have any song that you want in the world. Send me your Spotify playlist on Discord. And then I'm going to make a new channel for that. Um, but yeah, so you can get the Plex apps. I have a Plex app on my phone. Well, I have all Plex apps on my phone. These are what you can watch on Plex already. You don't even have to have any of these movies downloaded. And this is completely legal. These are free movies. But, as you saw, they have advertisements. That is why we torrent these movies. So if you want to watch this, you torrent this, and then you put it on your server. So basically, you put it on the hard drive where your shows are. If you have any questions, don't, or be feel free to ask. Um, first thing I like doing is unpinning the unnecessary things. Because these are all shows and stuff. And stuff that you won't be doing most likely these are the show movies and stuff that's loading already once you already put it on here stuff is already going to start loading what's called metadata this is basically the data of the movie with say things like the title the year the pictures it gets all of that automatically for you as you see it's loading right now this uses a lot of internet since my internet is like super fast it's basically depending on the server which is slowish um, right here, as you see, if you click here, you could see scanning subtitles. It gets all the subtitles for everything, all the information. And I'm going to go to the library, and everybody likes the new Fast X movie, I think. I don't know. You can go here. Boom. All this information is already ready. This is a 720p copy. It tells you all the information you need to know. It tells you the quality. The whole thing of the sh movie that you have this you have all of the cast say vin diesel's in a different movie boom it has all the other movies that's on that here already for you it has everything that you really need to know you have all the reviews you can access on it all of the trailers you're able to access you can access literally any of the trailers and there's there can be hundreds you got all the albums where you could just Start listening. So you can start listening to that. Um, this I'd recommend having music too. You could download the music because this plays it off of title, which isn't free. It's ten dollars a month, like Spotify. But this is basically all the information you really need to know for the basics. It does the same thing for TV shows. Um, this is probably going to have to take a long time to load as well. Or did I not? put the right thing on here oh yeah tv shows is not going to be working yet because it has to do the first thing which is movies and then it's going to do shows and there's like a thousand shows there's all this other information here which if you have any questions about it i can teach you this is more of a basics video um but i'm as you see shows are starting to pop up here um and these are the stuff that's literally on this hard drive right here. This is all the stuff that's on this hard drive right here. All the stuff that's here as well. As, as you see Pokemon or as you see Paw Patrol Season 1. Funny show. Never going to watch it in my life, but I have it. Paw Patrol Season 1 or Season 3 is loading. But all of these are going to load. You can go to Season 3. All of them will load eventually if you have them as, at least. And it gets all the metadata for each. You click here. Guess Paw Patrol didn't really care to have metadata, but like you can rate it, and you'll you'll also see other people's ratings if people have ever rated this. You can also click edit and edit anything. This is all the information that's already on here. You could like the poster. You could choose any of this information. It automatically finds a poster, but you could choose any image as well. Background, same thing. Background's basically the blue here, but 
there is no end to this and I really like it like that because it's it's just cool how you could do so much in one platform and we're going to choose uh, more of a shitty movie because we can't get copyrighted for this um, we're gonna choose this movie and then we're gonna see and you guys can watch it play I'm gonna turn my volume down As you see, the movie is playing. You can go to here, and when you click stop, you go to recommended. You can continue watching, just like Netflix. You can do all of this information, which is basically editing it. You can even save the file if you're on the same network. You can also, another thing I really like about this, is if you have it downloaded on your phone, like the, if you have Plex on your phone, you can download movies to the app, so you can watch them in the app if you have no Wi-Fi. And there's so much more you can do. Ask me any questions. I can either get you guys some videos or really anything of how to do things. And I will update the Discord. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys are learning a lot because this is a lot of information that is good for you guys. Because you guys will enjoy it. Alright, peace. Alright.